What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV. And I am back with another video. Before I get into the video, go ahead and smash up that like button. Hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell button to be notified every time I upload content. Also, follow me on Colossal underscore Sports TV on Instagram. Now, let's get into the video, man. As y'all already know, um, earlier today, News broke. Um, Three Kings Box, Three Kings Boxing .com reported it, which I will post the link in the description below so you all can check it out. Three Kings um, reported that Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder are in deep negotiations for a December fight uh, that will either take place in Las Vegas or New York. And this is music to not only my eyes, to ears, excuse me, but to all boxing fans' ears who. Want to see the best possible matchups in the heavyweight division, the marquee division in the sport of boxing. We know what happened between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder in terms of the failed negotiations, and we no longer tripping on that, at least not right now. We're not tripping on that. You know, it is what it is. We're moving on because Joshua has moved on. He's fighting Alexander Pavek in September 22nd at Wembley Stadium in the UK. Now, Wilder has been quiet in terms of who, you know, he will be facing, um, whether it will be Dominic Brazil, whether it would be uh, Luis Ortiz, whether it be Dillian White or whoever it may be. We haven't heard um, a lot from his camp in regards to him fighting other than it would be in the fall, late fall, um, that he would be fighting. And honestly, now, with this news, this is something that Wilder needs. Um, he needs a big name on his resume, a bigger name than Luis Ortiz, who was a very qualified guy, very uh, skilled fighter, one of the best, if not the best skilled uh, fighters in the heavyweight division. You see what happened in that fight. He came back to knock him out. And in this fight against Fury, if it's done, if it gets made, he will be going up against a guy who was, Slightly taller than him, I think, at six eight six nine, um, who is the better boxer? He's unorthodox, like Wilder. He doesn't pack a huge punch, but he punches well enough to to get the respect. So that is something he's going to have to contend with. But he'll also be going in with a guy who will be in his third fight since being out of the ring for three years. For three years in Tyson Fury, and. We all know what Wilder brings from the power aspect. That right hand is deadly. He baptizes his, his opponents when he lands. Um, but he's also very athletic. Comes in from crazy, uh, unorthodox, and awkward angles. Underrated hand speed. Um, underrated countering ability. And I think that this fight is, is going to be a good one. I, I honestly do. Both guys are confident, obviously. Wilder doesn't have to take this fight, but why not? You know, he says he's the best, and he wants to prove it. Fury obviously doesn't have to take this fight. Why? Because he's coming back from a three-year hiatus, and a lot of people are going to argue that he's not nearly ready for a caliber of fighter in Wilder uh, with only two fights back. But when you believe in yourself the way Fury does, and the skill set he possesses, he can definitely give um, Wilder more than enough no trouble. Now, of course, I'm a favorite Wilder based off of this, the power factor and the fact that he's been active. And Fury, it's not like he's coming off of a year-long layoff. This is a three-year layoff we're talking about. And only two fights in, potentially, he's going to fight the hardest puncher in the sport of boxing, period. And Deontay Wilder, that's a tough task. But if anybody can get it done, it's him. Um, he's awkward. He can box. He can punch a little bit. He got a lot of showsmanship, and you know he's a very good fighter. So hopefully, um, this fight gets done, man, because this is a fight that would be one of the most anticipated fights of the year. You know, and it comes by surprise, but you know Tyson Fury confirmed it in the video, uh, in a video he posted on Twitter. I'll post a link um to that. In the description below as well, and his promoter Frank Warren confirmed, confirmed it as well. Said they're you know in negotiations with manager Shelly Finkel. Um, 
to stage the fight. So we'll have to see. I think it's all but done. You know, got to get the little details, um, you know, agreed upon, and, and then we'll move on from there. If you like this video, do what I told you to do in the beginning. Share these videos all over social media. Um, shout out to everybody in the movie that is moving with us. Be sure to check out 3kingsbox.com for your latest and greatest updated, unfiltered, and unbiased boxing news. Report it the way it should be. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.